I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to calculate weighted average. Well, let's first discuss normal averages and then we'll move on to weighted average. So let me take up a question like, let's say we have to evaluate a person's marks in maths. And let's say we have homework and some assignment, some quizzes and uh, test. Based on these four things, we want to find the average, right? So, so we'll write average for the time being, average. Okay. We'll give the name weighted average once we understand what it is. So let us say that uh, in homework, a person gets 100% uh, marks, 100% marks. In assignment, a person gets, let me take uh, simple values to start with, 90%, quiz, let's say 80%, okay, and test 70%, correct? So that is the percent marks which a student gets in, in these four things, find the average. So average will be, when well, this is out of 100, 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 500 in all, correct? And the number of marks is 100 plus 90 plus 80, plus 70. So we can add them all and divide by four. I mean, we know, so one, two, three, four things, right? So what we can do is we can just add 100% plus 90% plus 80% plus 70% and we can divide by one, two, three, four to get the answer, right? So we get the answer. So let's do it. So we have 100 plus 90 plus 80 plus 70 that is equal to 340 divide by 4 that gives us average which is 85 and let's put percent here okay so 85 percent is the average and you can clearly see that this average 85 is uh, kind of in the center do you see that so it's kind of here somewhere somewhere here okay 85 percent so this happens when the all these tests, homeworks, or assignments are at par, right? So they have the same weight. But normally, you'll find they don't have same weight. Now, what does that weight mean? Uh, weight really means here that what we are saying that uh, they're all equal. How? Let's say what is uh, this is like 85%, right? So we divide everything by, by 4. That means kind of quarter. So what we are saying here is that everything has quarter, 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 quarter to add up to make a full. So, so the weightage, which we'll introduce further, is it is like uh, one fourth of the marks, one fourth of the assignment, one fourth of the quiz, and one fourth of the test is being added to find the average. Or well, let's do that. So if I multiply these two, kind of, let's say we multiply these two, see what do we get? Let's multiply. So what is one fourth of 100? So we'll do one fourth of each and then see if we get the same result or not, okay? So let's find out. So what we get here is one fourth means 100 divided by four is 25. We get 25 here. 90 divided by 4 is, uh, let's write in decimals, 22.5, 22.5, 80 divided by 4 is 20, and uh, 70 divided by 4 in decimals is 17.5, 17.5. If I add them, what do I get? So what I have here is 25 plus 22.5 plus 20 plus 17.5, all this is equals to, again, the same number, 85, right? So we get 85. Do you see? We again got the same number. So when we say that they are at par, then we say they have the same weight. And again, multiplying the weight by the marks, we get a number which, when added, gives us the average. You understand the concept, right? So that is what it is when we take up normal averages or the mean, right? So at times we also call this as mean, right? Mean value, average value, right? 
So, and you will always see that mean value is somewhere in between. Correct? Now, practically, you have always seen that their weightage is not the same. No one is going to give same weightage for homework as for the final test, right? It doesn't make sense. So, let's say, uh, instead of writing in fractions, we'll take up this in, in decimals, okay? Uh, quarter could be written as 0 0.25, as you can see, right? So, that is 25%. So, which is same as, we could write this as 25%. Both are same things, right? So, what I will do this time is, We'll write percent weight. So we are using the word weight now. That means importance is different, right? So we are writing weight or importance, right? Or significance, right? Okay. We say for homework, uh, it is only 10%, right? And for assignment, we'll give 20%. Is a take home assignment. Quiz. Uh, let's say we give them 30%. So how much we have already allocated? 10 plus 20 is 30. 30 plus 30 is 60. We are left with 40%. So now, all have different weight or importance. For test, it is 40%, not 25% as it is when we talk about normal mean or average. But homework is only 10%. Now, how to find this weighted average? So now we are talking about weighted average. Do you understand? Considering the importance of each, right? So which is different. So we are talking about weighted averages. Let us see how to figure that out. First step here is better to write this percent in decimals. So we are considering decimals so that we can straight away multiply. It could be fractions also. But decimals is the standard way. So 10% means 10 out of 100, right? So it means 0 0.10, this is 0 0.20. Decimal equivalent for 30% is that, and for 40 is 0 0.40. Now as we did earlier, we'll multiply the marks with, with the weight. So this is weight per in decimals. That was weight in percent, right? Now we have it in decimals. So, what we will do now is multiply the marks obtained with, these are the marks obtained, right? These are the marks obtained. We are going to multiply with the weights. We will do times operation on this and write down. So, what do we have? So, let's multiply each. So, it is 100 times 0 0.1. So, it is 100 times 0 0.1 equals to 10. So, we get a mark here, 10. 90 times 0 0.2, 90 times 0 0.2 equals to 18. And then we have 80 times 0 0.3, 80 times 0 0.3 is equals to 24. And then we have 70 times 0 0.4 equals to 28. So we have 28. So these are weighted marks. So these are weighted marks. Those were our marks, right? These are weighted marks. So let me write weighted marks. How do you find the average? To find the average, these are four different weighted marks, right? We'll just add them up, right? So if you add them up, what do you get? So let's add them up. So we have 10 plus 18 plus 24 plus 24. And that is equal to 76. So we get the number, which is 76. Do you get it? As you can see, the 76 is much different than 85. Our weighted average is much lower since the importance of test where we did not really score much is higher. So we got a lower weightage, right? So, so that's what happens. So what you see here is that the number now, instead of falling right there in between, it moves more towards 70% the original whose weight is more right so this 76 is closer to 70% do you see that so it is closer to 70% rather than homework and assignment where the score was much higher you get an idea so so that is what it shows if weight is more if there are more numbers 
then the average moves towards higher numbers. So it is 76, much lower than previous average, closer to the marks which are highest weightage marks, correct? So that is how it is. So I hope you understand the concept and for you, let me give you a practice question. So let us say this time a question for you that we have homework, assignment, quiz and a test. The marks obtained are, let's say they are same, let's say, let's say, let's say in homework it is 80, assignment is 80, quiz 80, test 80. But their weightage, these are the marks obtained, right? These are the marks obtained and the weight is as we used here, 10%. So we'll write in decimals, let's write 10%, okay, 20%, 30% and 40%, right? In this case, what happens? Is the average 80? Let us calculate. So calculate what happens. You need to multiply these two and then add the averages, correct? So these are the weighted averages. So let's multiply 80 with 0.1. So what do you get? 10% 80, 80 with 0.1 is 8 for you. 8 times 2 is 16, 8 times 3 is 24, 8 times 4 is 32. Let's add them up. So we get 8 plus 16 plus 24 plus 32 equals to 80. Do you see that? So we get a number which is still 80. So if you get same marks, it is going to pull towards the marks which has highest weight. Weight is same, right? Therefore, the percent remains the same. So in this particular case, the weighted average becomes similar to the mean, the average, correct? Because the marks were same. Do you get an idea? Okay, so now a question for you. If I change the marks altogether, and if I say that my marks for homework, let me write down this question here for you. Where will the weighted average be? So I'm saying homework, assignment, quiz, and test, right? So let me write down the marks and their weightage, right? So we'll write down the marks and weight okay marks are let's say homework 90 assignment we have 60 quiz we have 80 and test we have let us say 95 and the weight in this particular case is let's say 100 percent i mean sorry 10 percent 20 percent so that means 30 and let's say this is 30%, 60, and let's keep 40%. Same weight as we have taken in our example. What do you think will be the weighted average here? So the question is, weighted average will be closer to which value? It will be very close to, closer to 95, right? Because 95 is the marks for highest weight. So just multiply them, right? and find the results. You can times them, correct? You can times them and then add them all and then add them all to get the result. So let's do it. So if you multiply 90 with 100%, that means you get 9 and then 60 by 20%, that means multiplying by 0.2 gives us 12. 8 times 3 is 24 and 95 times 0.4. Let me write down. So it is 95 times 0.4, which is 40%, is 38, right? So let's add them up. 38 plus 24 plus 12 plus 9 equals to 83. Do you see that? So we have pulled the marks much higher somewhere here. So there were marks which were even in 60 and 80 range. Because of this, we could pull the marks higher to 83 percent right so that is how scoring higher in a test which whose has more weight helps us to improve the marks right i'm anil kumar and i hope with this video you understand 
what is weighted average and how to calculate it. You can always share and subscribe my videos to learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.